Hey folks, this is Nate LeVan, Pioneer Field Agronomist up here in North Central Iowa. Wanted to hit on the topic of root lodging in corn today. Wanted to kind of cover some of the main uh, causes that we saw with the big storm that kind of came through over the weekend, bringing us a lot of rain, but also maybe some of the yield implications going forward. So three major things I think were, were the major causes. Number one, these plants were growing rather quickly during the last couple weeks, and they're growing in the absence of really a whole lot of surface moisture. So while a lot of times these brace roots will come out right prior to tassel, there really wasn't a whole lot of incentive for those brace roots to go down um, if there wasn't a whole lot of moisture. So a lack of brace root development and kind of a critical timing. You know, big plants, small support. Number two, I think we did have some additional feeding pressure. This has a little bit of rootworm feeding, um, a little bit of scarring here and there. Mother Nature really didn't do us any favors, um, really brought us a nice dry spring to plant into. It also was pretty good for, for uh, rootworm mortality or lack thereof. And then number three, a lot of these, especially these corn on corn fields, got some really deep tillage. We got out some of those compaction layers. They were really nice, fluffy, mellow on the soil surface. They planted beautifully, but they're also a little bit lacking in soil strength. These roots really didn't have a great anchoring point in some cases, and that mellow soil really didn't help those roots um, in terms of supporting them with some of these high winds. So in terms of yield implications, what are you looking at? Number one, there's a whole bunch of data. There's a really good study um, that, that we've had. It's been around since probably the 80s, um, early 90s. That states, you know, different timing, different lodging at, at, at different events um, are gonna have different yield implications. Number one, I think, is the timing. Did it happen relative to these plants right here that are still two to three leaves from tassel? Or did it happen right at tassel? The closer you are to interfering with that pollination and silk set, the more yield loss you could potentially have. Number two, did it happen in the presence of rootworm? If these plants are root lodged and they're putting a lot of energy to try to prop themselves back up and they still can't get all the water and nutrients because the roots are being fed on, your yield loss is likely to be larger. And then finally, one of the things to consider is the research that we have in front of us or the yield loss implications that we know about happen to be on an, an entire plot. A lot of times fields, as you go across them, you're gonna see little pockets here and there. In terms of the total yield loss, that pocket may be 20, 25%, but the rest of the field is standing pretty well, seeing very little in terms of lodging and probably very little in terms of yields. Now, there's also a lot to, to go on between, you know, here's, here we are in the middle of July. Um, there's a whole lot that can go on between now and, and harvest time. Um, and really, you know, getting that plant harvested and getting it in the combine, there's still a lot of things that could go on. But those are the main factors. If you have any more questions about this or any other agronomic topic, contact your local Pioneer sales representative or hit us up at Pioneer.com. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on Pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.